and greetings from Colonia del Sacramento in Uruguay. Today we're going to be visiting the charming colonial town that sits on the shores of the River Plate. This destination is a super popular day trip from Buenos Aires, Argentina, since it's just one hour across by ferry. But we're going to be showing you what you can do with a couple of days there. Together, we'll be exploring the cobbled streets of the historical town, sampling a traditional Uruguayan dish known as chivito, museum hopping to learn about Colonia's past, catching some spectacular sunsets on the riverfront, and befriending lots of dogs along the way because you know us. So let's go explore Colonia del Sacramento, shall we? First up, let's go to Barrio Histórico. This is the historic quarter in Colonia. This is an area known for its narrow lanes, cobble streets, and walls that reveal so many layers of history. One of the main attractions here is Calle de los Suspiros, or the Street of Sighs, which will transport you back in time by a few centuries. Well, guys, we just finished visiting the bridge, not the bridge of size, that's in Peru. <laughs> the street of size. Bridge of size. Did it take your breath away? It's impressive. It's, it's impressive. It's very nice. Cobbled streets are the most impressive part to me. Yeah. Also, the old homes, it's old world charm, and it's also popular with everyone. Yeah, I would so. say that's probably considered like the prettiest street in yeah. all of Colonia. So if you so. want if you want to get a picture without too many people in it, you got to ha you have to have some patience for sure. And some of the places are are commercial and some mm -hmm. of them are homes. Yeah. And so there's a couple signs where people are like don't step on my don't, don't, don't stand don't outside sit my on door. Don't my door stoop. Don't yeah. knock on my door. Yeah. You know. So yeah, it's a very fascinating street and if you're visiting in Colonia, you definitely have to check it out. Colonia was built on a peninsula that juts out onto the river plate, a fortification was erected to protect what is now the old town. Only part of these walls still remain, but at this gate, known as Puerta de la Ciudadela, you can get an idea of just how massive these fortifications were. So we are out exploring the old town here in Colonia del Sacramento. And we've just discovered that the old town is actually considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And we should mention the size of the walls because we entered through the gate, but then we went around yeah. and like the wall's been cut in half for traffic. Look at that size. Look at this. the width. It's huge. The width. Yeah, it's it's like maybe one and a half meters thick. <laughs> that's some that's some kind of a fortress. And the type of uh, the rock that they use is like a granite. Yeah. Extremely, extremely strong. So strong. Yeah, this they had to resist the cannon. Uh, you know, bombardment from whoever came and uh, tried to take over, you know, in those days it was like that. As we were walking around the old town, we also came across this dog we'd met the previous day, so we stopped for some pets and a game of fetch by the river.
So something else we've noticed visiting here in Colonia is that there are a few different beach areas. Yes, there are. Yeah, we've been walking around what, in a few different areas and we've seen beaches in a few different spots. You know what? The river plate is so wide. Yeah. It feels like you're staring out at the ocean. It does. And you get waves kind of like the ocean, yeah. but... It mimics the river, ocean in so many ways. It sure does. And the beaches are just one more aspect of that. So if you've so got... Yeah. Oh, there's people swimming. There's <laughs> actually people in the water. I just see a kid swimming off here Ooh. in the distance. So bring your swim trunks if you want to get out there. Yeah, I have to say, it's very humid out. Like, yeah. we thought it was going to be kind of cool, chilly this morning. It really warms up during the day, and yeah. you can feel the humidity. So it's, like, kind of sticky, so dress for that. I think I'm, we're going to be ready for lunch soon, huh? Soon. Yeah. For lunch, we decided to try a classic Uruguayan dish, chivito. All right, guys, so our lunch is here. We ordered two monster dishes to share. These are massive portions. This one you're already familiar with because we've seen it before. We've eaten it before. Yeah, Milanese, uh, Napolitana. Napolitana. It's the uh, veal cutlet or a schnitzel, you know? Yeah. With a ham, mozzarella cheese, mm -hmm. and some sauce. And this one is called chivito. I don't know why they call it chivito because in Argentina, chivito would be the uh, a kid. A kid goat, a little goat. Kid goat yeah. at the uh, barbecue. Yeah. But this is no. This is a piece of uh, steak. Yeah. With uh, fries, ham, uh, mozzarella, fried egg, olive, French fries, uh, Russian salad, ma Macedonian, tomatoes, letters, and whatever is buried underneath that we don't see. Yeah. What can I tell you? It's a monster. It's a monster. Let's dig yeah. in. Well, we dug into. You're having Milanesa oh, right Milanesa. now. Yeah. He's having a moment. <laughs> He's gone to heaven. <laughs> I'm in heaven. This is amazing, people. The flavor of this beef. What about the chivito? What do you guys think of that? Mm. A new dish. That, that's the chivito. Yeah. It's got bacon too, eh? Yeah, we yeah. found some pan setup buried in there with all the ingredients. Yeah. It's really nice. You like it? I like that it's loaded with so many different ingredients, so many flavors combining and mixing together. Nice and greasy so, and heavy. Do you recommend both dishes? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm in heaven. Mm. Like this. <laughs> I'm levitating. You know? <laughs> levitating. I can't believe it. Come on. It's a barbecue, my what friend. What the heck? What? Are you well fed? <laughs> she is fat. <laughs> Eat it. Oh, the, it, it, what? No. What? She wants pets. She, she wants caress. Are you kidding me? Like, look at, look at how round she is. She's like, <laughs> I guess I'll stick it in my mouth. This cat. Hold on. Get that. Get that. Oh, yeah. I'm a nice boy. I'm a good puppy. Yeah. I'm a good puppy. Oh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bum rubbing, bum rubbing. I love it. I love it. I love it. You want some too? Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. You guys, you're all alone all day long. It's meowsies. Our favorite time of day to be out exploring Colonia was right around sunset. There's something about that soft golden light and that cool breeze at that time of day that just adds a little bit of magic. After walking along the waterfront for a bit, we grabbed a seat at a little gastro bar called Gitana. Time for an update. We had a monstrosity of a lunch. I ended up having a big siesta. Mm -hmm. We did a little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're out back wandering around. It's a beautiful sunset. The temperatures yeah. cooled down. Everyone's out chilling at the beaches, by restaurants. We found a great little cafe. 
she recommended to us by a friend. So yes. thank you thank for you, the recommend. Thanks, Candice, for the recommendation. I'm having a uh, Tanat Malbec blend wine here. You've got yourself some lemon tea. Yes. <laughs> we have a, I have a sore throat, guys. Yeah, mm. Trying to trying to get you over that. So no wine for you. <laughs> I'll I'll drink the wine on your behalf. Cheers. Cheers. And you've got um, a shrimp risotto coming soon. I too. do, and I'm gonna share. They brought out the risotto, the creamy shrimp for two. risotto. Yeah, they split it in two. They asked us if we wanted to share, and we said yes. So they split the portion in half, which is really nice. Looks it's so, so cheesy. Oh my. Wow, so cheesy. I love risotto. It's one of my favorite dishes. We ate this so much when we were in Croatia. Yeah. Like almost on the daily. So I was it, even making it in the Airbnb. Also reminds me of our time in Milan too. We had risotto, mm -hmm. the local risotto with mm -hmm. the saffron. I'm very nice. Are you gonna make it when we come to Argentina in the future? Maybe. <laughs> We kicked off our second day in Colonia del Sacramento with a leisurely stroll through the old town. We woke up to clear blue skies and beautiful weather, so we were just happy to wander around enjoying the architecture, the greenery, and the flowers in bloom. This was late spring at its finest. Yeah, well, here we found another one of those little streets, typical of this uh, little town. And uh, it's amazing, the construction, eh? Mm -hmm. This colonial type of construction that uh, you look at these houses and in a way the facade they are so simple you know but uh, at the same time they are so exquisite So we are now standing on the shores of the River Plate. There you have it. There you have it. The world famous River Plate or Rio de la Plata. And the big question is, when does it go from being a river to an ocean? Well, this area here is the mouth of the River Plate, right? Where it is going to be meeting the ocean. But a lot of people say, okay, the River Plate is the widest uh, river in the world. But some other ones, they say no, because at the point where it's the widest, it's already meeting the Atlantic Ocean, let's say, right? You got the two different points of view. It's a beautiful river. Mm -hmm. It's got the typical uh, brownish uh, color yeah. because of all the sediment that it brings from the northern, uh, all the other northern rivers that come and join, you know? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's nice. A lot of sailboats uh, enjoying uh, the day. People fishing. The beautiful uh, flag from Uruguay. Okay, country that I always wanted to visit. And finally, now I have the chance to do it. The people are super friendly. It's been a, a beautiful place to visit here in Colonia, and uh, we recommend it. You know, if you have the chance, come on over. Okay. And then it was time for a bit of museum hopping. 
This city has no shortage of museums, each of them covering a different aspect of Colonia's past. visiting the Museum of Colonia. We got our passes, we paid 50 Uruguayan pesos and it's gonna give us access to multiple museums here in the historic part of the town. That's just like what, a dollar thirty or a dollar forty? Yeah. Really yeah. cheap. This one especially, the Colonial, it's all related to the uh, yeah, the colony of this place, right? Yeah, the early days. The early days and they have just uh, a little bit of everything. So we're gonna museum hop before lunch. If you enjoy history and you want to learn a bit more about Colonia's past, this museum pass is a great option. Not only is the pass super affordable, but the museums are all quite small and close by, so they are easy to cover in one day. Each museum has a different theme, showcasing everything from local flora and fauna to how the early colonizers lived. visiting a few of the museums, it was time for lunch. And I think we can all guess who chose this spot. So Sam, what's the plan for today's lunch? The plan is pizza. Apparently we've come to one of the best places in the city. This is called La Bodeguita. And there was a lineup just waiting to get in. It opened at 12.30. Yeah, we haven't had pizza in a while, so excited to try this. I got ham, mozzarella, sauce, and oregano. Very good. And I went for the anchovy pizza. It's nice and salty. It's got some onions, peppers, tomato sauce, mozza cheese. Yeah. And over here, pepperoni. And great views. Great Look at location. The view. Yeah, the location is amazing. <laughs> yes. So that's a little taste of what you can do in Colonia de Sacramento on a short visit. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one where we continue our travels in Uruguay. Next up, the capital city of Montevideo. See you soon!